Once again, let's talk about Uvalde. Hopefully for the last time for a while. Their little report came out, and just like we knew it would, it's an absolute whitewash for the Department of Public Safety. It's an absolute whitewash for everybody but the Uvalde police. Boy, the Uvalde police dropped the ball in spite of the fact that there were literally dozens of agencies there and multiple men with high-powered rifles. Body armor, helmets, shields. Heck, they had it all. And yet they just stood around. The Uvalde Police Department is not that big. I've been to Uvalde. It's not that big. Let me tell you, it's a nice little town way off in the desert. Those hallways were full of cops. From the DPS to the San Antonio SWAT. Heck, I think they even had a couple Border Patrol agents there. I think it was Border Patrol SWAT, actually. They all stood around doing nothing. Meanwhile, our great Governor Greg Abbott, the lion piece of sack of crap that he is, could not help but praise the rapid action and heroic acts of the amazing police force that stopped the shooter, knowing damn well from the very beginning that nobody even hit the dude for an hour and a half. Perry was lying from the beginning. Pardon me, did I say Perry? Ha <laughs> ha, we need to make another video about Rick Perry, that insurgent son of a bitch. But I did in fact mean Greg Abbott. You can't believe anything they say. On top of that, you can't believe anything the cops say. Now in that regard, sometimes the cops do tell the truth, just like sometimes people tell the truth. But let me tell you, son, sometimes people lie. Sometimes cops lie. Sometimes governors lie. Sometimes governors know they're lying and they still lie. Sometimes governors are down with getting kids killed and they don't give a damn because they're gonna get millions of dollars from the NRA. Greg Abbott, I'm talking to you. Meanwhile, I didn't have time to go to any uh, memorial services in Uvalde. He's very, very busy, you know guarding our great border. Probably with the same heroic border patrol agents that stood around in the hallway. Boy, those guys were outstanding, weren't they? Especially loved the guy getting his little hand sanitizer there. I mean, safety first, after all. You know, wouldn't want to go down this hallway. There's kids there, you know, so there are all kinds of germs, you know. Got to get the hand sanitizer on. Everybody else looking at their damn phone. Now, one guy actually has the uh, uh, the Punisher uh, skull on his phone. Thought that was cute. Little red, white, and blue Punisher skull. Because that's the real man that he is. You know, yeah, tough. While he stands there and looks at his phone, hearing kids literally screaming in the background. Wonder if he got a text. Hmm. Anyway. Don't mean to be so angry about this, but any Republicans out there are still planning on voting for these bastards. Gotta ask you why you're not angry. What's it gonna take? Hear you people screaming every day about how you gotta save the children. We gotta just screw over every damn rape victim in America, even if they are 10 years old. Oh wait, no, was that fake news? Oh no, it turns out it wasn't fake news. Oh my goodness, there was in fact a 10 year old, even though Jim Jordan and a dozen other Republicans, including Fox News said that that was not true. It was fake news. Turns out it was real. We actually caught the guy that raped a 10 year old girl. In fact, now he has admitted to doing it twice. And she couldn't get an abortion. Because Republicans believe that 10 year old rape victims should have to have a baby. After all, it's God's will. But I digress. Let's get back to the point. You talk constantly about how you want to save the children. Well, these are actual children in actual hallways, in actual classrooms. And apparently, any old crazy son of a bitch 
who wants an AR-15 can buy one and then go light that classroom up. After all, this is America. Second Amendment, right? Every other amendment's negotiable. Not even allowed to have an Equal Rights Amendment. But by God, we got that Second Amendment, and that means that any old crazy piece of shit, Republican scumbag, trumpet MAGA nut job with a red hat can have himself a howitzer and can use it on any little school children they want. I am sick and tired of hearing these people scream that they want to save the children when they don't give a damn about a seven-year-old getting shot in the face and they don't give a damn about a ten-year-old who got raped. If that's where y'all are, then vote Republican. If that's not where you are, then for the love of God, help us get these crazy bastards out of here in Texas because these guys are a problem. Y'all take it easy.